I'm walking away. <laughs> well, not from that. <laughs> I am walking away from Petrobond and I am walking toward and I am running, racing towards Green Sand. And I have made a couple of loads of it now and we're gonna we're gonna look at what I've done and uh, just give you some ideas of what where I, why I'm doing what I'm doing. And then we're gonna cast something at the end here. So let me uh, first start, let me take you to the sand that I'm using and the uh, the binder that I'm using. So I'll get that going. And then I'm gonna show you a couple things about the sand I've got that I've got in process. One is in process, one's ready to go. I think it's ready to go. So let's, uh, yeah, let me get you the sand. First things first, this is what I'm using for sand, which is just play sand. Comes at the hardware store. Got this at, uh, for you Americans, I bought this at Home Depot. I paid like four dollars and something, almost five dollars a bag for it. This is a half a cubic foot. I don't know what that is in. Oh, I do probably know. Something about, I thought I saw liters on here too. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, um, this is what I got. Now, <clears throat> what I did is took my take my handy dandy sieve here, and basically, first thing I want to do is take this sand and I want to run it through the sieve. And the reason I'm doing this, and we'll see something here, is we're going to sift it. Yeah, there's a little bit in there. You see the rocks that are in here? I think you can see those right down there. So I'm going to get all of that stuff out of my sand. And there's that means the things there's still stuff that's going through here that's that's you know as big as the holes in my screen, but it's pretty clean. Now I want you to notice this too. It's, first of all, it's it is dry. It's bone dry. Have to dry it out before you start mixing in the, the binder. And you can see how fine this stuff is. It is really fine. It, I mean, it's like a coarse ground flour. It's fine. So I'm pretty happy with the consistency of this stuff. It's, uh, I think it's going to mold really, really well. Okay, so that's first step. Get it, well, first two steps, right? Get it dry, sift it out. This rock right here, that's what I pulled out of one bag uh, of, of uh, sand. Some pretty big stuff, too. So anyway, sift it. All right, next step is going to be the binder. $5 for this stuff. And so far, I have made two batches of uh, Petrobond, or Petrobond, two, two batches of green sand with it. So I've got $5, $5, call it $2. So for 12 bucks, I've got two loads of sand going. This is cat litter. It is tight clumping cat litter. Um, don't get the non-clumping stuff. I got that. That's not, don't want that. Do not get non-clumping. Get the cap, the clumping cat litter. This stuff, um, you can see what it looks like. It's just bitnite clay crushed up, ground up. It's not pulverized. It is granular. I uh, used a blender and ground up my first load of this stuff. And I have learned now that I don't have to do that. I can actually just mix the cat litter and the dry sand together, add water, let it set for a little while, and uh, uh, just keep kind of stirring it. And it'll eventually break down and it'll eventually uh, blend together. And I don't have to tear up a blender to do it. So there's that. Let's look at the sand I got going here. So I've got two loads of sand. This has been uh, dried and it is, in, I think it's in perfect condition. This is still a little bit wet. So let me just show you what happens when you get, when, if it's still too wet. 
if I, if I squeeze it together, first of all, it falls apart. Here's the other clue that it's too wet. It's all over my hand, right? And it doesn't come off all that great. I made a couple of molds and tried this stuff. You can see what it looks like. It looks horrible because the sand just stuck to everything. It's still stuck dirt, it's stuck to my pattern. Uh, when it's too wet, it doesn't work. All right, my hand's clean. Here's the dryer stuff. It's still damp, it's damp. I mean, I don't know how to tell you, but it's, it's, it's not wet, it's damp. You can see the way it clumped together? Not, I mean, that is solid. Breaks, come on, break. Breaks nice and clean. Um, and look at my hand, it's not all stuck to my hand. Yes, there's some on my hand, but nothing like the other stuff. It just comes right off. This stuff was a mess. So this has got to get drier. This is too wet right now, and I'm just going to try, keep trying to dry it out uh, and get it going. I can tell you that after I cast some stuff the other day, uh, even with it turning out horrible, this is the way for me. This is the way of my future. Um, we're looking at, if this was Petrobond, we'd be looking at probably... A hundred and a quarter, one hundred and fifty dollars worth of Petrobon, maybe sitting here, um, somewhere in that neighborhood. So I'm at twelve dollars, <laughs> and this stuff, when it goes bad, if it, the miner goes out, I can just go dump this out on the ground. There's nothing in there but sand and clay. Petrobon is full of oil, and I have to dispose of it somehow. And as soon as I figure that out, I will start disposing of it. So let me. Uh, Let's say we uh, mold something up and try it out. Uh, here's the one thing about that, this green sand that may not be so great. I leave it on my table like I've been prone to do with the Petrobond. It rusts. <laughs> now, some people have told me putting iron oxide in my sand is not a bad thing, so maybe that's a good thing. I don't know. All right, let's get this thing rammed up. Well, what do you say? Should I see what this thing did? Man, I hope it hope I <laughs> last time I did this it stuck like nobody's business. So let's see if we get this thing open. It opened up pretty nice. That's pretty cool. I'm not seeing a lot of roughness. Put this thing up on edge like that. Start with the easy one. Maybe the easy one. <laughs> yeah, a baby. Hey, we'll do us a trial close and we'll open it and do it one more time. And 
Looks like I got a little breakout a little bit on the P. Alright, melt some uh, metal and pour it in there see what happens. Oh, you know what? Nope. <laughs> I'm going to vent this. Now I'm not going to put a huge vent, I'm just going to do it again the scratch vent. So I'm going to do a little bit from the corner here, in the corner here, just not to let some gas out. Because that's what old men do. Now we're going to pour. Well, that shot up through there. <laughs> it had steam. Maybe it had steam power. I don't know. We'll give this a cool down and uh, check her out. Notice the smoke. No smoky. A lack of that. A lack of that a lot. Test, test, test. All right, let's open this bad boy up and see what we got. <clears throat> I think we got a pretty good mold. I find my brush here and we'll clean her up. One thing I like about this stuff too is the fact that it is clean coming out of here. You saw the color. I never had that with my oil-based stuff, my Petrobomb. Even when my Petrobomb was brand new, I never had that. So, pretty excited about that. Again, notice the spoke. That, if, if nothing else, that makes it all worthwhile. All right, so here's an up-close shot. Um, first things first, every one of my stars came out. Looks like a star. The, so, <laughs> yay team. Um, surface is a little bit rough still. And I assume that that has to do with, there are still some little sharp things in here that I think are cat litter that are not blended yet. Uh, I'm not really sure, and uh, it could be that I've still got some big pieces of sand in this stuff too. I can feel, I can still feel little things in here, so it could be I've still got to play with my sand, maybe get a little bit finer sieve and clean some of this stuff up. I am thrilled with the color, I'm thrilled with the fact that it came out clean, it released, everything Everything looks good to me. This will be a keeper for me. I'm going to go ahead and clean that off. Look at that. Everything. Only got to cut the. I've only got to cut the gate off. I'm good to go. Neil Diamond wrote it. Monkey sang it. Smash Mouth sang it. I think Neil may have actually done it himself as well. I'm a believer. Yep, indeed. I. Uh, I'm pretty happy with the results here for first casting in sand, in green sand that I made. Not too chabby, man. Not too chabby at all. So, no more Petrobine from me. Well, maybe one more. Maybe I'll do a side-by-side -side, uh, just before I get rid of the last bit of it. And we can see the color. We can see the smoke. We can all live the horror that is oil-based sand. <laughs> Don't hate me. You guys have a great day.